Okay, from the dining room, we see there's the built-in, the coat closet, and then the door to the cellar. So we're gonna go, and you can see the change of the flooring. We go from the beautiful uh, varied width pine to a pine that's been painted. And you can also see the old lath and plaster. And you can also see that at one point there was another door here blocking off the basement. And so this area was a more finished space with a pretty wallpaper. So this is a narrow staircase, kind of steep, just like the one that went to the bedrooms and bathroom upstairs. So again, lath and plaster. You can appreciate that right here. We can see the wiring that's going up to this light fixture. There is an emergency shutoff here for the boiler and a little notice about whether the hot water is on. Let's head down to the basement. There's not a railing on here, so you just have to be careful walking down. I'm going to spin around and show you the staircase. So that's where I just was. So it's just open on both sides. Here is the brand new oil tank for this half of the house. Standard 275 gallon tank. New, new. Currently there's a half a tank in there. Over on this side of the house, kind of getting more into the middle part of the house here, we do have a built-in uh, bench that will stay. This is the original laundry hookup. You can see the dryer vent. We've got the dryer 220 plug, water lines coming in, and then there's the drain, and then the plug for the washer machine. So laundry's now over in the newer finished basement, but you know, this, the hookup is still here. So you definitely can have two setups. There's a bunch of crawl spaces coming off of here. Uh, cause this, I believe used to be a porch out, uh, this section here. And then this section is going, uh, under towards the kitchen. So God bless whoever had to go crawl inside all that space to get to everything. There's the clean out for a uh, chimney fireplace. I should say there's a lot of lolly columns, uh, through here, just different support jacks. Another built-in workbench that will stay. You do have a poured concrete floor. I will point out there's a very large rock here. Uh, I would guess they would have had to blast uh, to get rid of that. So they just poured the concrete around it. And the little feet marked in here has the year 1943. Uh, so that's why I believe that this floor was poured in 1943. So behind the stairs, that was the workbench I just showed you and the laundry hookup. This is the boiler for the original section of the house. This is a peerless boiler. You can see it is a steam boiler. There is the vial right there. And then it's also heating up the hot water. We have a newer hot water tank over here. So these are, you know, copper pipes. And then on this side, there's the water system for the whole house. I know there's been two heating systems, but there's only the one water system. So this pressure tank was replaced in 2007. Most Vermont well water is hard. So you have a brine tank here to soften and then a whole house filter here. I believe this is considered the, the filter in the backwash so you don't have to replace filters all the time. And then there is some electrical here for all of that equipment. And then lastly, I wanna show you that there is a door here that goes to the outside. Take these bars off 
and I'll show you where this looks out. Ta -da! So direct entry into the basement from the outside, cool old stone walls. Here we are on the south side of the property next to the office porch room that has the beautiful big fireplace in there. There's a staircase that comes off of that room and comes out here to the patio. I know it doesn't really look like a patio because it's covered in moss. You know, this has all been mossed over over the years, but you certainly could power wash that moss off and expose the patio and all these cool brick walls. There's the drilled wellhead. And this was the basement entry. So this door is insulated on the outside. A couple of steps. I just do want to point that out. There's old stone built-in steps. And then we are directly into the basement again. I hope that that helps answer any questions that you might have about the systems and the condition of the basement in the antique part of the house. I think it's in terrific condition.